OK, here we have question 6. This question is about graphs. It's about a quadratic graph. y equals x squared plus 2x. You're asked to plot, you're asked to work out the values, or complete the values in this table, from minus 4 all the way up to 3. Now, when you've got a table of values for a quadratic, you know it's a quadratic because it's got a, the biggest power of x and x squared. There's always going to be some symmetry in your table. So look for it. The symmetry is here because these two numbers match each other and then these two numbers will match each other and these two numbers will match each other. Unfortunately this last one you'll actually have to work out but this one 3 matches this gap 3 because of the symmetry. Minus 1, 0, 0, 3, 3, 8, 8. This final one here where x equals 3 we need to work out this formula when x equals 3, so that's 3 squared plus 2 times 3, which is 9 plus 6, which is 15. So that value will be 15, one mark for each. But always look to see if there's symmetry in the table will save you, especially on these negative numbers which are quite tricky to work out for x squareds will save you a bit of time and make sure you get it right. And then you've got to use the table to complete the graph. Um, for the graph y equals x squared plus 2x between minus 4 and 3. Essentially that's just turning to plot these values. Our first value we're going to plot, we'll start with this one, 3, 15. So we go across 3 and up to 15 which is going to be about there. And then we've got 2 and 8, across to 2, up to 8 then 1 and 3, cross 1, up 3, 0, 0, minus 1, minus 1, be careful that this is minus 2, don't go down to the there, to the minus 2, go to the minus 1, minus 2, 0, and minus 3, 3, minus 4, 8, now when you're drawing graphs you should be thinking about what shape you expect to see and if it's not quite that shape, as I said with x squared, y equals x squared graphs um, there will be symmetry and this is a nice u-shaped graph ok, and to finish it off you should draw a curve through these points, it will be very tricky for me to do this on the computer, much easier to do it with a pencil um, that's fairly close, there's a little bit out there. You must try and get your curve to go through all the points that you've drawn. OK, so that would be another two marks. Uh, use your graph to find the value of y when x equals 1.5. Now to do this, um, we need to draw a line on where x equals 1.5. So here we go. Yeah, so when x equals 1.5, so x is this value here, there's 1.5. If I draw a line from there up to the graph, and then um, my graph's not particularly well drawn, but uh, where it touches the graph, you draw a line across to the y axis, you can then read off that value. whatever value that is there. And on my graph that looks about 5. Um, what you mustn't do is put the number into the equation to work it out. It's because it says you use the graph. So you must show a line going to your graph. And 2.25... I mean the, technical, the exact value would be 5.25 but uh, for my graph I can see it's 5 and you must put what your graph shows you because they will be looking at that not what it should be but whatever your graph says